this over here is, I think, single-handedly, the best looking PC case ever made in PC history. It's called Fractal North. But let's hope this sponsor segment doesn't go south. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. First of all, the front of the case, these strips here are actually wood. This is real wood there and I couldn't believe it when I saw this. I thought this is going to be some fake wood, but but here it is. You can pull the front cover off when doing that. And I think if you're a creator, you're just going to love this case. There is a black version of this available as well. The inside, like this is actually gray. So if you're looking at that, you can see there's actual wood strips there, which means that every case is going to be slightly different. Underneath, behind it, we've got a little mesh that you can take off, as you can see, and clean dust filter. And you can already see that the color of this is kind of like a gray rather than black. And you might see this case already comes with 240 millimeter fans built in from the front. If you look on top of the case, you can see there's a little leather strap behind here. If you pull that, the front panel slides off and you can take that off, which reveals a mesh cover. There's no filter here. And underneath we've got extra support for either 240 millimeter fans, 280 radiator or two 120 mil uh, fans. Another thing that's great is when you've got thumb screws here, you actually can just undo them with your thumbs. Back panel just slides off like that. And then we've got the same with the front glass here. You undo the thumb screws and then you slide the glass out just like that. So inside here, you can see more and more that it's it's a, a, it's a gray inside. Now, there is another screw on the top here, which has this panel attached on the side there. And I don't know, this is such a nice looking design. It kind of covers your front radiator, but adds a little bit of color to it. Honestly, design, I'm a big fan. So this, okay, this is a little bit tight, but I can still do it, undo them with my thumb. Oh and then you push the panel back and then it comes off. So basically this is now how you can mount your GPUs or something bigger in. So if we are looking at the inside here, you can see that there is a little grill for the power supply in the bottom there. There is a little interesting hook down here if you see it. And this is because you can actually mount some side fans in here. So these fans can be mounted on the side. So if you look behind the case here, you can see two 2.5 inch SSD um, like holes in there where you can mount the SSDs or hard drives. Then you've got two hard drive bays in there. They can be mounted like quite a few different ways. There's a lot of space to kind of move them, shift them around, if you can see there. So I'm gonna just take these off for now. Interesting. The instructions actually say that you should have a fan uh, bracket or fan mount here as well. By the way, big kudos to the nice uh, instruction manuals. As you can see, it's very nicely laid out, easy to understand what's going on. Interestingly, this number 12 fan bracket here, 12, it says it's included in a mesh version. So I'm not sure if this is the mesh version. Oh, okay, I see. That is when your side panel, because it looks like you can get it when the side panel is actually mesh as well, not glass, because mine is tempered glass on the side here. You can get when the side panel is a mesh. And then what you can do then here is, look at this, there's like a fan mount that you can put on the side and then blow air onto your system like GPU or CPU. I'll show you this here. What you can do with the fan bracket is you can put the fans like from the high position, mid position or low position to get extra air to come in from the side to blow on your cooler, GPU or, you know, GPU kind of and SSD and a little bit of CPU or just solely on the GPU there. You can mount lots of hard drives and you've got lots of space for the PSU as well, depending on how many hard drives you can fit, because as you can see, there's a few hard drive mounting bay options. So if you have one, you can mount it on all of these situations, all of these positions right in the front, kind of a little bit on the side, in the middle or in the back there, if you want hard drive bays, which is nice. 
The interesting thing is, if you look at the back of the case here, then you can see that there's little like kind of holes on the very, very bottom, just over here and over here, kind of cut out from the frame. And that is because you can actually fit an 80 millimeter fan just on the bottom over here, underneath your GPU. Let's say your GPU will be somewhere over there. And then the 80 millimeter fan will come there and then blows air out like another exhaust from the case to get the hot air from the GPU to just come out from the case. This back over here supports only 120 millimeter fans. And this here, if we put the motherboard in this case, something like that, Asus Pro Art motherboard. You've got a front nub in there. See in this motherboard layout here, you can see that if you have an E80X motherboard, you might be struggling. Just depends how wide is it gonna go because um, there is like this end of this. I think some of the E80X motherboards, you know, will fit in there. But if you wanna put something like the Asus um, Sage WRX80 motherboard in there, then I don't think this is gonna fit in here because that will go way too long. So this is meant for like mid towers size case but still fits everything in here, kind of compact, big enough to fit everything most people need. And that's why I like it and has beautiful, beautiful design. So if we're taking these GPU slots off here, the second and the third one, let's have a look at the GPU support. This is a Zoltac RTX 1390 Ti, one of the longest GPUs I have. And uh, there are some 1390s that are even longer, but just to see if this is gonna fit inside the case here. It does, and just about. It's literally touching the front there. So you do have about 36 centimeters to play with when it comes to GPU. If your GPU is any longer, it's not gonna uh, fit because as you can see, this front fan bracket is actually cut in. So if you would have a radiator, that would come in the front here. So on this part here, and then that cuts out even more of your GPU you might have to go with smaller GPUs, just so you know. If you're wondering the radiator support, then in the front you can fit up to 360 millimeter or 280 millimeter. So 240 millimeter fans or 320 millimeter fans that can be fit there. And the fitting goes that the fans go on the other side of the bracket and then the radiator comes on this side of uh, the bracket. We've got nice rubber grommets there that will hide your cables. One thing is slightly alarming though. As you can see here, the actual CPU power hole on the top there is only over there. That is very, very weirdly alarming there. So if you see here, you can see all the cables that come from the top to go to your CPU fans or other fans, maybe the top fans, they'll have to come from this hole there. And if you have two EPS connectors or two eight pin connectors, let's see this cable. So this is even uh, eight plus four. And even this cable hardly fits through the hole there, as you can see. So if you have two eight pins, you'll be literally cut very, 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 very close. So this is two eight pins now. Let's see if we can even fit these through. Nope, they literally don't fit through. Unless I take them, take them columns a bit further and then try to do them one by one. I guess, I guess they just about fit through and you can get quite a clean look there, but it is a struggle. As you can see, just these eight pins fit just about through and cutting them in and out is a little bit of a chew on to do. I wish this hole was slightly bigger, just so that we can put things a little bit easier in. And on the bottom as well, we have quite a conservative space to, for the holes to come through, as you can see here and there. When we're looking at the front panel, we have the power button, nice silver, very nice design and feel of this. We have two type A ports, one type C port, one microphone and one headphone jack. I think that's fantastic and enough parts to kind of just get everything. If you have your PC on the side of the case, you, you've, you've got most of the things you need. In terms of airflow, whether you're gonna use the 120 millimeter fan there or the 80 millimeter there, this is just empty. You wanna just get lots of air in and it will go out. All the top there is very, very open as well. The air just can go out even if you use the radiator in there. Fantastic airflow. I think in terms of airflow, You've nailed it. In terms of design, you've nailed it as well. In terms of the practicality and building inside the case, you've nailed it as well. There we go. 
Look at it. The case is small, but big enough to fit everything in there. Good airflow, amazing design, very good build quality. All the panels and everything seems to be lining up to me. I am loving this case so, so, so much. I'm not sure about you, but I want to do a very nice minimalistic build in this case. Let me know if you have any suggestions to me. I've already got some, but maybe you have even better ones. I'd love to hear from you in the description below. Check it out in the description below. There's a few different variants of color and the mesh side panel as well. If you want to have extra airflow fractal, thank you. But if you want to build yourself a best bang for buck, create a PC, then check out the build guides in the description below. There's a video that will fit into your budget. I promise you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subs and likes, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.